Today we'll be describing our CT terminal blocks from Wago and a simple setup using them. So this setup here is for single phase power. Our terminal block here is the 2007-8821 and our current transformer is the 855-2701 forward slash 0035-0001. Just to explain this setup here, we've got a primary current flowing through the red wire which is fed through the CT. Then we have a secondary current which flows out of the CT into the CT terminal block and then we have a meter connected on this end. The CT terminal block comes with a few accessories. We've got a locking out cap, which is to stop you from disconnecting the circuit, and we've got a jumper bar. Now this jumper bar looks slightly different to our normal ones, and that's because it has a different application. Just quickly show you the cross section of the terminal. So this here is just the side view. Um, as you can see that the current bars are currently connected, you flick the lever forward and disconnects the circuit. I'll now quickly go through the function of the jumper bar. Uh, for that, I just need to explain about a little bit about electrical theory. So I've got this diagram here. So we have the primary current which flows through this red wire. Then this is the CT. And what it does is it converts the current into a secondary current which is, makes it a more safe and measurable value. Um, by transforming the current, the voltage is multiplied by the value n, which is the number of coils around the transformer. With everything connected, um, there's a finite resistance across the ammeter, uh, which means that there is a finite voltage. However, during an open circuit, there will be no longer a finite resistance, and with that, with the current being a constant value, uh, because it's a current transformer, there will be an infinite or very large voltage across here, which will heat, heat this CT up and destroy it. So by shorting the CT, we are connecting these two wires together and the resistance becomes finite or a very small value which then reduces the voltage to a very low value. Which is why you always short the CT before installation or any risk of having an open circuit. Now if we want to add in an extra meter, uh, these are the steps on how to do so. So first, you would have to Remove the locking out cap, then take off this transparent cap. And then, this is the most important thing, to connect the meter. The reason why you have to connect the meter first is so that you don't risk an open circuit. Now if we push this lever forward, we've opened up the circuit on the left hand side. So now the current will flow through the meter instead of flowing through the terminal. So if I'll just go through where the current flows, comes out of the CT through this right hand side, flows out to the second to the first meter, then comes back, flows through the second meter, comes back around, and then flows back into the CT. Thanks.